All right, welcome back. It's the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown. We're still talking to the Penguins, who have a very busy week this week, including a game against the Capitals, head, or is it the Columbus Blue Jackets, who are stumbling along. They have, in fact, back-to-back -back games, their last set of those over the weekend. But I want to also continue this and talk about what we saw the other night, Andrew, in the offside play, yep. which to me was offside, but the league didn't waste any time in saying it wasn't offside, so I don't understand. I understand the possession rule. I didn't think he had possession. We're talking about Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, what did you think? Yeah, that's actually, and I know that I'm saying it in Pittsburgh and not Buffalo, that's actually the way I want instant replay applied it, across sports. When everybody's sitting there and they're like, Ugh, I don't know, what is it? And you've got half of Twitter saying it should count, the other half saying it shouldn't. You go with the call that was made on the ice. Instant replay should only exist for the obvious calls. And to me, there was enough debate about control or non-control to say, what did the on-ice officials say? Let's go with that. Well, actually, Andrew, did they make the call on the ice because they thought he was in control of the puck? Or do they make the call on the ice because they just didn't realize it was offsides in the first place? Yeah, it wasn't obvious. It wasn't glaring. It wasn't something that when it happened in real speed, they, they whistled it dead because of offsides. So okay. I'm fine with that. I, I'm of the opinion in a situation like that, all that does is indict the other reason why we use replay for offsides. Like if that's onside to me. I know what you're saying. Then there's no reason to look to see if a, you know, if Jonathan Drew and skate is this high above the blue I line. agree with that. Like, because that's, that to me is actually way more offsides. And, and you know this, you've seen a lot of Rick Nash over the years, Jason, right? I mean, that was his go-to move. Oh, when you're back into the zone like that. And like, that's a planned thing for players. And technically to me, if it's onside, that's way more offside than the stuff that we look at and try to indict with replay. But this is an NHL problem too. This isn't yeah. necessarily a replay problem. Uh, to me, the offside hair splitting, you know, Mike Harrington from the Buffalo News calls it the toenail rule, and I think it's accurate. Just why are we splitting hairs over crap like this? I, I'm with Andrew. I, I think it's the right application of the rule. I just don't think it should come down to that sort of minutia. Uh, goaltender interference calls a play where the goaltender is directly prohibited from making a save. Fine. I get it. Challenge it. The offside stuff that doesn't really have anything to do with it, I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't love that that exists. Well, goaltender interference is another murky one for me. I see some that I don't agree with, but I guess that's, that's how it's going to go. Consistency, too. Yeah, the consistency is a problem. All right, uh, so, Tim, I want to ask you about uh, the Penguins now. Here they are, still as the first wild card as we speak here tonight, tied with Montreal, who they beat last night, but they got a long way to go. They still can end up out or eighth, taking on Tampa, or they can make a run and win this whole division because the Capitals now own it. Tell me why they're going to make the playoffs, and if they miss it, why would that reason be? Uh, they will make it because the likes of Kessel and Hornquist get scoring enough uh, to offset all the burden that's on Crosby in the top line. They won't make it if their scoring can't match their inherent defense, defensive deficiencies. I'll say they'll make it because I don't trust Montreal. Did you see their team outside of Carey Price? You look at them on paper and say, how is this team – in the same relative place or spot in the standings as the Penguins. I don't trust Montreal to beat out Pittsburgh for a playoff spot. Um, and then conversely, I'll say if they don't make it, it'll be because they'll have another injury on the blue line or they'll have a goaltending. I'll say they'll make it because I do think talent-wise they're a lot better than the teams they're competing with, sort of what Andrew's saying with Montreal and Carolina, and also that those guys, Phil Kessel, Patrick Hornquist, mainly get going. I'll say they don't make it because they're not good enough defensively and they can't, st can't stop preventing goals, and right now they're missing three of their top four D. Real quick, I have about 30 seconds. Is the narrative now changed about Jack Johnson? Because he's really been good, I think a plus 10 in the last uh, how many games. He was minus 13, now he's almost at even. Uh, does that make you think this deal was a good deal to make, or I still think his term is too long? But I think the term is too long, but for this season, I think people are, are unnecessarily harsh on this deal. I think he's been a lot better. I think some people need to maybe open their eyes to how he's played. And to his credit, he's played a lot better with the more minutes they've given him. Yeah, and I think they're putting him on the right side now, too. Or the prop, sorry, the proper side now. The left side. Left side, <laughs> yes. Uh, making him a better player. Uh, I would say that people were unnecessarily harsh of the signing based on what he was, a bottom pair defenseman when they got him. You guys are right. The term is too long, but it's kind of like baseball at this point. Sometimes you have to sign for longer to get something you need. I didn't think that the money was as bad as people made it out to be. Uh, now, he wasn't, been, he wasn't as good as you know, Jim Rutherford was trying to defend. Yeah, exactly. Somewhere in the middle. That's why he deserves criticism because the alter, like he's Paul Coffey and he's beyond reproach and he's not allowed to be criticized. He's a step slow and there's still four years left on the contract. What makes me nervous
played well right now. He's been insulated a little bit because he's moved up the lineup. But something tells me if they get into the wrong matchup, a team with speed, he'll get exploited and take advantage of. All right, we got advantage of in the playoffs. Time to go. This week's smooth moves brought to you by Pittsburgh's largest supplier of the smoothest granite marble and quartz countertops. You will find that would be Armina Stone. So we ask these guys, give me the smoothest move of the week. It doesn't have to be local. It could be national. We'll start with you, Jason Mackey. All right, Carey Price gets mine. You guys have probably all seen the video on uh, social media. The little kid, he lost yeah. his mom to cancer, and Carey Price takes off his equipment and gives him a hug, signs his jersey, just A-plus from the uh, Canadiens goaltender there. Special thing. Well, Bob, I, I do try to defer to local if I can in these situations, and I always defer for my smooth move to people who are my height. So with that being said, <laughs> Tavian Dunmartin, the backup point guard at Duquesne, who is now filling in for Sincere Carey, who's hurt. He had a 30-point effort on the heels of a 22-point effort last week, filling in for Carey as the starter. He was fantastic and really willed the Dukes to victory on Saturday, last time out against UMass. Well, I wanted to give the smooth move to the barber who worked on Antonio Brown on HBO's <laughs> The Shop Friday night. You're there. You've got cutting shears, you've got a razor, <laughs> and you don't get rid of the blue hair and the blonde mustache? Come on, man. Uh, Step it up. <laughs> I love that. And those are the smooth moves of the week brought to you by Armina Stone, who features Pittsburgh's largest indoor stone gallery of granite and marble countertops imported from all over the world to give you the smoothest countertops in your area. Score a touchdown right now with granite countertops from Armina Stone. Steelers, A.B., mustache, all next.